Uh, hi, today I like to introduce a uh, sending or grinding system for uh, your part. Uh, most of the time, uh, after fire, your part is some kind of uh, rough, especially on the uh, stoneware. Um, the bottom is rough, and um, maybe sometimes it's not very flat, it wobbles a little bit. Um, uh, uh, it's very hard to uh, find a very good. Uh, if you use the uh, uh, grinding machine, it's hard to get it flat. And uh, here I borrow a uh, idea from my friend. Uh, he has a uh, system for using the uh, diamond disc, a lapping disc, to uh, grind the bottom of the part, and it works very, very, very uh, easy and very fine. So I like to introduce. This kind of a system, maybe you can uh, make it your own. It costs only about uh, under hundred dollars as long as you have a wheel, and you can just use your uh, wheel system to uh, set up the, the device. Um, here I have a brand wheel, and uh, most of the brand wheel has uh, come with the uh, splash pants, uh, two pieces. Um, basically, when you are using the diamond disc, you need to constantly run water through so that your uh, dust or the, the clay will not get caught in here on the disc. So you have to run the water system. So I'm going to use a uh, fish pump to pump the water. Um, uh, you want to recirculate the water so the water keep uh, recycled by itself. Um, this is the system uh, I borrow that. The idea from my friend. Uh, I drill a hole here uh, and then I put this. If I uh, bring it in closer, you will be able to see it on the inside. So the water will come out if I got too much water, will come out from here and coming down. Um, because this is the uh, uh, splash pan. So it's two because they are two part of it. So you need to drill two holes, so that uh, not only one side with water fill with water, both of the uh, the part of uh, splash pan fill with water, and the water can come out. So uh, two pieces. All right, set it up here. Set it up. And then uh, you need to have uh, a hose that you can hook it up. And this is my hose, that vinyl hose. Let me bring down the camera a little bit so you will be able to see it. So I just attach the vinyl hose. Here's the other one. Okay. And here I have three hoses. Three. Two for the water to go down uh, to the uh, uh, bucket of water. I put it on the floor. And then you need to have water to pump it up. So this is the one to pump it up. And you can see that I insert a copper wire into the pipe, this hose, so I can adjust it. So I can adjust my nozzle to uh, aim it to the center of the wheel. And just use a, uh, a file clip to clip on the side of my splash pan. Okay, and then. I could hook it up. This is the uh, uh, fountain pump. You can buy it easily from a uh, uh, hardware store, Home Depot, or even uh, Amazon.com. They sell it up under $20. Um, uh, it's adjustable, so you can control the flow of the water, how, how much water you want to go through. So I hook it up here. And 
put it underneath, put it inside a bucket of water. Let me show you where's my water. Okay, this is the camera shows the uh, water, bucket of water, put it under the floor. slide away it sits in the middle um, it's changeable so if you have a larger one like a 12 inch you can set it up on here too okay. right. uh, to prevent the uh, disc from sliding I have this uh, very special cloth that I put it underneath of my diamond disc. And set it up right here. And because the uh, the attached part sometimes will you will have some leaking water a little bit water seep through. So I put this to uh, to kind of uh, prevent it from too much water leaking out from the gap. So this is the uh, this is the bucket on the floor, and I have three pipe, two pipes coming out from the splash pan, and one pipe, one tube uh, for the water to go up to go up here. Everything set up. I'm going to uh, switch on the pump. Oh, too much water. Just a little bit. Okay. And spin my wheel. system from the pump going up and then down to the splash pan and uh, if the water is getting water level on my splash pan is getting higher uh, it can come out from those two holes and down to the uh, uh, the bucket of water and then keep on going so it's a whole cycle the part before I grind it.
work out beautifully. You can see that this part is smooth. And it takes only a couple minutes. Then we get another one. <coughs> Two marks. Uh, the disc uh, 
uh, you can buy it from eBay. Uh, it's a, depending on the size and the uh, the, the good. Uh, it costs about from twenty dollars to forty dollars, depending on what. Uh, uh, mine is about twenty two hundred sixty good. And you can buy higher or lower good, depending on your need. So cocoa costs less than I would say less than a hundred dollars. And if you buy a machine from the company, it costs maybe more than two thousand dollars at least. Okay. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, everybody can set up the system and and heavy grinding. Thank you.